so funny. So beautiful. Make tonight last forever. Would you do that? I'll try. Because I love you. Playtime's over, my darlings. I'm sorry you chose to do this, Ray. Not nearly as sorry as you're going to be, both of you. What are you doing here? You told me she was going to be in London. Been a rich, full evening, hasn't it, Michael? Happy birthday, dear Ray. You followed us. You bought your way in here. How can you do something oh, like Kimberly, that? Oh, Kimberly, be quiet. Moral outrage at this point is absolutely ridiculous. With my daughter, Michael. You accept everything I give you, and then you seduce my daughter. Michael and I were lovers long before he ever went to work for you. And since? Since you went to work for me? And since your marriage? No. Ray, All you... those times you told me your affair was over. It was. You were nothing but good friends, and you understood how important her marriage was. My marriage has nothing to do with this. I doubt Seneca will say that. Oh, don't tell Seneca. Please don't tell Seneca. What are you? I just don't understand you. What was all that determination, all that insistence on marrying Seneca? You were just going to turn around and hop right into Michael Pavel's bed. No. No, what? It's exactly what you did. And as for you, I, I really don't understand. At least we all know Kimberly's a narcissistic child who can't wait two minutes for what she wants. But you, at least I would have thought you'd have better sense. You no. risked everything, and you lost. No, Mother, please don't threaten him. As long as Seneca doesn't know... Oh, we... for heaven's sakes, will you stop it? I'm not about to stand here and listen to you try to defend a cheap, miserable little affair. And I don't waste my time on threats. Ray, just give me five minutes I'm to explain what... I'm not giving you anything. Nothing more. Now, I'll deal with Kimberly later, but as for you right now, you are fired. I understand how angry you Do are, Do you and really, I... Michael? Do you understand at all how angry I am? I don't want to see you ever again, not in my office, not in my apartment. You go back to night school or ta attending bar at the Crystal Palace or waiting tables in Sheep's Head Bay, or better yet, Michael, why don't you let Kimberly support you? That is, if Seneca doesn't mind her keeping a little pet. Whatever you do, you're out of my life and out of Woodard Enterprises. Is that quite clear? Yeah, I hear you, and I cannot accept this. Michael. At this point in time, that statement transcends self-confidence. It's arrogant, if not downright pathetic. Mother, wait. Are you going to tell Seneca? Mm.